Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to my lair, my village, my... No, I'm just kidding. Um, this is not a witchy video, surprisingly. You know? Um, this is my piercing update video. It's been, technically, it's been a week and a day. I got it done last week on Monday, and right now it's Tuesday of next week. Okay? Um, so... I'm going to talk about my pain that I've been experiencing, um, what I can and cannot eat, um, how I got my speech back, and all that other good stuff. Alright, so to start it off, this is what she looks like, okay? I ate a Lucky Charm. That's what she looks like. She has like a little boom, a little bump right here, but... I think it's a hypertrophic scarring, but if it is, I can get rid of it, obviously. But I'm just letting her do her thing, you know, heal and get it together. Okay, I'm not gonna mess with it too much because I don't want to cause it to be irritated. But this is called a scoop piercing, a scoop tongue piercing, and it's a surface piercing on the tongue. And a surface piercing means that it doesn't go straight through. So if I lift up my tongue, there's nothing under there. It didn't go straight through. It went like this. So, that's for the starters. She's only a weekend day old. Number one. Two, as y'all experienced, like, in my vlog or saw in my vlog, I cannot talk. Like, I cannot talk. The first day I got it was the most I was able to talk besides right now. But day two... Day two, day three, day four. No, ma'am. That was not, it was not good. Okay? I cannot talk. I talked like I was, I just couldn't talk. I had a lisp. I could barely move my mouth. My tongue was so fat. It was ridiculous. Um, in my sleep, I s slobbered, you know? I don't know if that's because of tongue or But I slobbered. Um, what else? I cannot eat nothing but applesauce. All I ate was applesauce and smoothies slash slushies. You can tell that I can still have problems saying my S's, but if I do it slowly, I can get them. But this is the best I could talk, the best I've been able to talk all week, obviously, because it's healing and getting better. But I mean, even when I was eating the applesauce at first, that shit hurt. Okay, so you have to do very minimum tongue movement. You have to retrain your mouth, how to talk, how to eat certain things. You have to be careful. Think about every time you chew because you might chew your, your piercing, you know, and it's going to hurt. Um, right now, she's doing good. She's great. I can talk and um, I can eat. I still can't eat like big, hard things. I still can't eat big hard things. Um, I can eat things like noodles, like spaghetti and stuff like that. Um, I ate broccoli today and rice. Um, is that the first meal I had? I think that was the first meal meal that I had that wasn't like pasta or applesauce. So yeah. Um, like a couple days ago, I tried to eat an ice cream sandwich. I couldn't do it. I ate one cookie, a very soft cookie, the HEB cookies, you know? I ate one of those, and then I tried to eat another one, but I couldn't because it hurt, so I stopped. So I ate a cookie and a half. I guess let's get to the pain, you dig? So the pain, look. I was so scared for this piercing. All my other piercings, I was so excited. And I was excited about this one too, but I was scared to death, like, well not to death, but I was scared, I was alone, you know, and I thought it was going to hurt so bad, like, I, I had 14 piercings at the time, now I have 16, I thought it was going to hurt so, 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 so bad, but it didn't, it didn't, I psyched myself out, biting your tongue hurts more than getting your tongue pierced, I don't know about the straight through one, but this one, biting your tongue hurts more. 
like the pain was like a four out of a ten scale like one being the least ten being the highest i gave it a four and i told the man that i gave it a four and everything um for cleaning purposes i use mouthwash with no alcohol in it and i asked him could i use salt water because that's what i use for all my piercings and he was like did i say salt water I was like no but you can use it i haven't used it though because mouthwash has been working fine but mouthwash with no alcohol is what i use um but yeah it didn't hurt well it like it hurt like it hurt like this much okay it was not nothing to cry over nothing to be like ah, none of that it was just like okay and then that was it um what else i can move my tongue um i still have to be careful when i chew and that's about it you guys saw me get it pierced well i'm uploading it right now but y'all saw it and that's it she's really cute i love it a lot of people like it i have not had anybody say that they didn't like it besides my dad but you know he doesn't like me getting piercings tattoos all that other good stuff so this was piercing number 16 and i also got my belly button pierced in my vlog y'all saw that also so now i have a total of 16 piercings you know how I said I was done? I'm not done. I'm not done. I'm not done. Um, I do recommend to get this piercing because it's so cute. It's really hard to find someone. Well, I know in my area it was really hard to find someone to try to do a scoop tongue piercing. I don't know why it was so hard. But I had to go way the fuck. I had to go far to get this done. But when I want something, I want something and I get her done. So we got her and I'm happy. She was 60 bucks. And yeah. So I hope y'all enjoyed this little update about my this is my one week piercing update for my scoop tongue piercing. 